Hi everyone, my name is Parada and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be creating this really easy fall Canberra makeup look. This look is really easy and simple and everyone has done this so many times. But I just want to do this my way. So if you like this look, please keep on watching. Since I already pre-prepped my face, I'm going right in with the eyebrows. Today I'm just using e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. I'm just going to draw on the natural bounce look, nothing too crazy. For today's palette, I'm using the Wet n Wild Rose in the Air palette. I'm just using the first color, the lightest shade, to set my concealer. And I'm just going to blend it. Then I'm using a lightest orangey color from the palette. I'm just going to blend it on my crease like so to be my first transition color. I did this look last year during Thanksgiving as well and I was using the Renaissance palette. So if you're on a budget and looking for a Renaissance palette or like a cheaper alternative, this palette is a must have because not only it costs $6 but the color shade, the color wise is like really similar to the Renaissance. Especially the, the love letter color, mm, exactly the same. The next transition color, I'm using a slightly darker orange, itch red. I'm just gonna blend it on top where I put the first transition color. And I'm just gonna keep blending it until everything is nice and even. And whatever you do to the top, drag it down to the bottom as well to balance it out even more. This third color is my favorite from the palette. This is the reddish pink color. This color is, I swear to you, this is the exact same color love letter from Renaissance palette. Like, I guarantee you, it's like the same color. And I'm just using it to put it on top where I put the first two shades on, you know? So basically, I did the same thing but darken it up even more using the darker color. And I'm also blending it to the bottom of my lash as well to make everything smooth and balance it out even more. At this point, I'm like really out of breath and I don't even know what I'm saying half of you, but basically I'm just doing the exact same thing but using three different color and trying to build it up like from light to dark if that even makes sense. And here I'm just cleaning up the edges using a transition color that is a transition color on the palette. And here I'm using a slightly, slightly gold eyeshadow. I'm just gonna pop it in my inner corner and the center of my lid. I'm using a brush right now but I realized that using my finger will pick up more color and it's more pigmented that way. Then I realized that the gold in the palette is not as you know bright as I like so I'm gonna use a wet n wild highlighter that I love. So I'm just basically re-putting on my inner corner and inner half of my eye. Then I'm spicing it up with a NYX Glitter Eyeliner. I'm just gonna do a half moon cut crease kind of thing. Basically just draw like halfway to my eyelid if that makes sense. I think it's more clear in the video. I'm just, I just don't even know what I'm saying. But yeah, to give it a pop of you know, color. Becoming a makeup guru is so hard but if I want to pursue this career, I must try so if you hate me I'm so sorry I tried and for my eyeliner I'm using a new wet n wild marker like eyeliner marker so it's like a really slightly weird tip but it gives me a perfect eyeliner without trying because the tip of the eyeliner is really like hard and it's like slice it you know you angle it so yeah it's basically easier to make and cat eye with this marker eyeliner but since my eyes really droopy and tiny, I'm not gonna do a crazy cat eyeliner. I'm just doing a basic soft wink that I always do like normal. And yeah, basically it's just lining my eyes, giving myself some wink. For mascara, I'm using a Boreal Black Terrascopic mascara. I used this in high school and every time I use it people will be like am I wearing fake lashes because like this make my eyelashes like really long and like spread it out and it's like really cute and I'm basically being cheap I'm just putting on my eyebrows as well to set them like to you know make them like stand up a little bit and for eyelashes I've been so lazy so I'm um, being honest with you I'm just using the magnetic lashes because 
I hate putting glue on the lashes because every time I use the glue, it's always showing my video, like for some reason. Magnetic lashes is like a must have for me now. For today's foundation, I'm using Becca foundation. This foundation is probably like the most high end stuff in this video because I'm mainly using a drugstore. And I'm smelling my beauty blender because I wet them like yesterday and it's still puffy so I don't know if that even like clean, you know? Because it's not even dry and I re-wet them so ew, I don't know. Probably get pimple after this but whatever. And I'm just using a t Real Technique Beauty Blender. I'm just gonna blend it on my face like so. I also have the Juno Beauty Blender. You know, the one that Nikki Tutorials was talking about. I ordered them, but I haven't tried. So I might do that next video. Like, comparing to the normal Beauty Blender and the Juno ones, you know? Because it's like microfiber or something. But whatever. For today, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm baking my face. I'm using the... Sichuan baking powder from Thailand. I'm just gonna bake slightly a bit under my eyes, my jawline, and my nose, and basically everywhere on my face. Like literally. I normally don't bake my face because my skin is super dry, especially in the winter, like right now in the cold. My skin gets so dry and patchy, so. I always, you know, kind of skip baking, but after this video, I will bake more because, you know, I look so nice and clean, my skin looks popping and everything, so maybe baking is like my next new routine now, probably. Soon I got some of my eyebrows, I'm just using the back of the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil, I'm just gonna brush out the powder, and I'm using the number 7 brush, the powder brush, I'm just gonna buff out the powder that we were baking. I'm just gonna slightly dust it off and set my face as well using, you know, whatever powder it was. Here I'm using the Hula Bronzer. I like using the little brush that comes with the bronzer. I feel like it picks up the color more, like better than my normal contouring brush. So I don't know, like I know a lot of people don't like it, but I, I absolutely love it. Like I don't hate it. Like I'm looking for a new bronzer. If you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. I would like to try the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer, but I think it's too pricey for a drugstore. It was like $17, and I think that's kind of too much for like a cheap drugstore product, you know? For today's blush, I'm using e.l.f. Light Blush Palette. I believe it's called the Light Palette because they have a light and, me and dark. I don't think they have medium. I think they only have light and dark. So I'm using the Light Palette. And I'm using the orange color. I swear by blush. I love blush. I always put it on. Like I over put it and I love it. It makes me look really young and like funny and flirty and sassy. So for today look, I'm using a orange color over my face. Then I'm using a hot pink color. Basically on my the apple of my cheek for you know a nice flirty kind of look. I think it's really cute. I know. For today, lip liner, I'm using the Wet n Wild lip liner. Wow, we're going all out with the Wet n Wild today. I didn't know that, but yeah. So I'm using the lip liner. I was going to use a lipstick after this, but I prefer not to because I like the lip color. So I'm just going to skip lipstick and I'm leaving it at that. And voila, this look is complete. Don't forget to highlight, you know, your cheekbones, your nose, and cute bones. So thank you for watching and happy holidays. I'll see you next time. Bye. I've been waiting hoping that you'd want to text like text like That's what I was born to do. And yeah, it's